What's going on guys? Welcome back to Truck and Roll. Today we're going to do a quick tech tip on how to make your own battery cables. I experienced some charging issues when I first bought the truck. After inspecting the battery, I noticed that the positive cable between the battery and the starter appeared to be undersized. So once you've determined the correct length for your application, you're going to want to make sure you get the right type of wire. There's different types of wire and different gauges for different applications. I'm going to show you the wire that I got. It's slightly larger than what we have installed and it's going to be perfect for application. Here's the wire I purchased. Now you can get this offline. I believe I got this off of Amazon. You can get it in different colors. Uh, I decided to go with red for positive and black for negative, which is pretty standard. Typical gauge sizes range from 6 gauge down to 4 aught. Anything below 2 aught, I would say, is probably overkill unless you're running a relocated battery to say in your trunk. I chose a 1 aught gauge. This will be good for 200 amps plus over a 10 foot span. I'll show you the tool that you can get. You can use a hammer, it's real cheap. You can get off of Amazon. And uh, you basically you take your ends, and, and obviously you can buy these ends. Um, the, the lugs, I should say, uh, based on the diameter of your wire. So you wanna make sure that you get the right size for the wire that you have. You don't want it to be too small, you don't want it to be too big. Um, and then you use this to make your connection. Here it is right here. So basically, this is what makes the impact on the terminal to make your connection. So it's very similar to crimping wires, except this is for much larger gauge wires. All you do is strip back your insulation, slide it inside, and when you're ready, slam this down with a hammer real hard and that'll make your connection. There you have it guys, a nice solid connection. It's not going anywhere, it's weather tight, perfect. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that quick tech tip useful. Next time you tune in, we'll be installing the EFI conversion fuel tank on the C10. Don't forget to like and subscribe.